You know, you, I, I think if I go back 20 years ago, um, the gym was 80-20, 80% men, 20% women, right? Fitness as a whole was like 95-5, you know. It, it, all your Nike athletes were men, you know. That might have been one woman, and she had to be like uh, an Olympian, right? Like, Serena. <laughs> or, Ser- or Serena, right? Serena. Um, but now, I would say it's 60-40 female, 60% women, 40% men. And it seems like women are really dominating the space of fitness as a whole. I mean, from athletics to endorsement deals, it's just everything. It's really driven. I would say the industry has molded itself. Is that a trend that you're picking up that is really like women are really driving this vehicle now? I just say us collectively are driving the building. I see amazing women and I see amazing men, but I do love the fact that women have stepped forward more. Like, you know, even as far as with sports, like we're watching women's basketball, and yeah. that has not been the thing yeah, <laughs> in a, like ever, really. Ever. Um, <laughs> like I can't say since a while, like ever. Right. Um, so I think that I love the fact that just in everything that women are elevated and you know, we're getting our chance at it. Um, but I just feel like I just love that everyone is finding their space and finding their field. And I want to say 2020 kind of did it and made everybody more health conscious you know it was a terrible year but it also put a lot of people on let me learn how to cook let me look at these vitamins let me buy, let me eat my vegetables because people were so against vegetables i only drink my vegetables you know mm-hmm. but i just think just collectively like all of us are doing amazing